Hey, what's up, Bricksters, and welcome in a new review of quality, quality supplies, and the daily profit. This is the second building in the street of the Diagon Alley. And yeah, <laughs> let's take a closer look. First minifigure in this building is Ron. He has his nice Gryffindor hoodie. And this second face looks like this. What we've all seen before. Not much new. Maybe the legs, but it's nice to get a Gryffindor hoodie so you can make new different students, so you can always use them for your mocks. This is the Daily Prophet photographer, and he has a really nice and different looking camera than what we ever seen before it's a really nice piece he has a nice shirt and his ring beard is really cool He also has a second face where he's more concentrated and some back printing as well. He comes with the child legs and I think in the movie he's quite small too then. Tell me guys but does his face print look a little bit like Iron Man? It's not the, fa the same face print, right? But it looks a little bit like him. I'm not sure if it's the same. But it's cool to get this figure. Um, this hat hair combo is really cool. So this is the building. You have your stone made road here and your tiles which are the same on every street part you have some print windows here which are really cool and some decor with a snitch and some breakers Daily Profit entrance is really cool. This is a sticker. These are stickers with all the names on there. The windows are simple but really nice. And you have a lot of details with little bricks built to make it look like it's another building. At the side, you can see that. This is kind of hanging over. And there is a sticker. And that's quite cool that they did that. And there is a sticker too. There are some stickers on the signs as well. It says Daily Profit. Some Hogwarts flag. And you have a flag that says Quidditch. Now let's raise you up a little bit. And let's take a look at the top of the building. There are some prints here, and surprisingly, those are prints. 
I don't know what they are gonna use this for in other sets, but it's really cool. It could be like stacked up windows or with, with papers that nobody can look inside, or it could be like it's filled with all these papers. I don't know. The chimney is really cool and was not necessary, but it's there is a door to look inside. A little bit. And this is really cool to get. The inside of the quality quidditch supplies and daily profit is really nice this is a sticker and a doormat that says qqs uh, from letters of the shop we have some accessories and like a minifig build and you can use as a minifig here and here which are really nice if you want to make up your team you just have to buy like four of these diagonally sets to make your own cottage team of another another class. There are clothing stacked up here and here, which doesn't look that spectacular, but it looks really great. Of course you know that in the first movie they find out this broom in Diagon Alley and they say well it's the Nimbus 2000 and yeah that's this broom. Then you have some accessories in here as well. A nice box. You have a sticker here that says feel free to test fly any of our brooms. Would be like funny <laughs> if people are flying around in Diagon Alley to try those brooms. And you have like a mat here. I don't know why. I think that's just uh, for the looks. You have a spider wrap here that can move with a spider on it. And down here you have a sticker with a lot of lines on it from the movie. And you have a box filled with this. These are just stacked up tiles and looks like these are all newspapers and it's the newspaper that says the boy who lived which we're getting a lot of in this set. There is a lot of space as well inside to place some minifigs. And there are used some really nice techniques in this build. On top you have a rat that looks like Scaparus, but it isn't. I'm not sure if that is Ron's rat or not. We have some stacked up boxes. And you have some newspapers that say the boy who lived. And these are the only printed tiles here. These are all just uh, jumpers. Like these. Stacked up. And on top of it. Printed tile. 
which is really cool. On this side, on the top of the building, you see some of these too. So you're getting five in total in this build, which is epic to get. You can see the little piece of cheese that's there. <laughs> and that's just a funny joke that they put it there. And it kind of reminds me to the modular of this year, well, which we got, which has a piece of cheese and a mouse trap. So maybe this is a reference to like the modular line that this is similar, which is cool. Taking a closer look at the dummies, you can see nice torso they have this one's from Ravenclaw and they have their hands in a different color which is really cool here you have the Hufflepuff one And it's really cool to get two of these. Taking a look at the instructions, you can see that this is the second building. We already finished this one. And these two are still unfinished. Some information about the shops and all the pieces you are getting in the bags. Now surprisingly, this build only has four numbers and it's quite a big build. But it's not that complicated. Yeah, and you have All the pieces are listed up in instruction booklet 2. I'm not sure if this is only from... I think this is from all the builds together. These are all the pieces from all the builds. So this was my review. And I hope you liked it. Another thing I like is that these windows are placed over each other, which is a really nice detail. I forgot to mention, but I really like it. And this build was surprisingly like fun to build. Like I think all the four are so much fun to build. It doesn't matter which one you choose, these are all unique in, in building experience. And that's just something LEGO does really good. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. And of course, subscribe to the channel for the upcoming reviews and the other buildings and the combinations that I'm gonna do with the modular buildings. So yeah, I hope you have a nice day and thank you all for watching and I see you all later. Bye.